just so hype with Boom Shake the Room. That's one of our favorites. We know you guys love it too. And now we're going to bring it on down and on our bodies and center ourselves with a few deep breaths. We know this week is all about quilting and coming together, um, sharing stories. You know, that was a way of communication for our ancestors. Our ancestors pulled together literally and figuratively. So let's honor our body with three big, deep, full breaths. And we invite you to close your eyes. Big, deep breath in. Exhale. On this next inhale, let's think about all of the love, the light, the guidance, and the protection that our ancestors have given us. Breathe in and exhale. And on this last deep breath, let's breathe all the way in and feel the air into our core, into our belly. Big deep breath in. Peace, Afro Play fam. Welcome back to Story Time. We've got a book for you called Stitching and Pulling. Stitching and Pulling talks about creating beautiful, beautiful quilts and patchwork using our hands. You guys just got done watching that amazing demo from Sister Diana and her beautiful assistant about paper patchwork. Um, so this is about using cloth and using traditions from our ancestors and our mother's mothers and our grandmothers and, and the aunties passing them down to generations and generations um, of quilting. So this is Stitching and Pulling. And it says it's a G's Bend quilt store. G's Bend is a part of Alabama um, that has a huge, amazing um, quilting community. And our ancestors who were in Alabama at the time would take this time to share stories and pull together and share songs while they quilted with the community. Okay, so here's a few pages from Stitching and Pulling. Let's get into that beautiful, beautiful illustration. You can see everyone sitting around the table, even the little one back there, learning how to stitch and pull. My quilt top is pieced. I spread it on the bed. Great grand nods and approval. Mama smiles. Grandma leads me to the frame of the porch. Knowing hands put my quilt in place. How long will it take? I ask. Great grand shh, she says. Come, join us. She holds out her hand. Mama hums by and by. Five women surround me at the quilting frame, all stitching and pulling, singing the old spirituals, same as always, except today, I'm part of the group. She's excited to be at the table. Coffee colored, berry stained, nimble fingers with clumsy thumbs. Can I see your thumb? Can you roll your thumb? Good job. Stitching and pulling together in a slow, steady rhythm. Patient hands that guide without force. Teach without punishment. An old, old process. Women stitching and pulling together. When will we finish? I ask. Grandma's eyes and the tilt of her head say, be patient. Quilting take time, days, even weeks. Relax and enjoy. 
I stitch and pull and listen in the warm yellow glow of an afternoon sun on the blue quiet of my grandma's porch. The other woman smile because they all know and understanding will come later. Finished. For several days, I've been asking, are we finished yet? Grandma laughs and her cheeks rise in the gentle mounds with this one last stitch. I bite the thread and knot it. Finished. I have made my first quilt, stitching and pulling with others, but I am not complete. There are hundreds of ideas in my head, quilts that are about me, about the place that I live, the people who have been here for generations and generations. Why are you crying, Grandma, I ask. An understanding will come, she says, by and by. The end. Peace. Afro play, Afro play time. The Afro play, Ashe. Hello everybody. This is my lovely assistant for today. What's your name? Asada. Asada. So Asada is going to be helping us um, create the red, black, and green um, paper quilt. So show me your example. No, your example over there. Uh -huh. So this is what Asada made um, two nights ago with me. So today you're going to be creating your own story um, with the red, black, and green. So those colors are from the Pan-African flag. Um, so I'm really excited to share you share with you all the process of doing this and we're going to show how Asada and I create this. Um, so first, before we hop in, um, you have the black strip. So you have four of those. And then you have the green strip. And then you have the red. And then you have a yellow strip. So you only have two yellow strips and that's okay because yellow is just something to throw in there. If you wanna cut out stars or use it um, to bring out some more, have more colors. And so we're gonna use that um, and assemble a paper quilt. So, we're going to come back and see what Asada's working on soon. And then I'll put it, I'll put, we can make it a little the same. We're gonna put it, put one right here. And then you can, you can just make some designs. So I want you to glue those things down before you start the other part. So Asada is going to glue this down. So she came with the pattern that she wants. Um, she created a border with all different colors. Um, I recommend um, making sure that you have different colors um, and not having the same colors. But if that's something you want to do, that's also cool too. Um, yeah, so we'll be right back to see what Asada creates. So just keep creating the pattern and you can do whatever pattern you feel fit. Asada assembled her pieces and glued down all the strips and now she's going to work in the center. So what colors are you going to use for the center? Um, 
I'm not going to be too black, so I'm going to use this color. But you want to use black too in it, though. Just I'm, a little bit. I'm going to use this color. And this color. Wait, no. This is pink. And this color. Okay. So I put it like this as a star. You can do that later. You can show them, um, you can add a little bit more around the edges. Like you can keep doing a border. So. So you can do, the oh, all right, you're doing it yourself. <laughs> Let her do her own thing. But yeah, so you can create different types of designs. It's not set to fit you know, what Asada's doing or what I ended up creating. And I'll show my example that I did before. It's your own um, thing. It's your own thing. So you can add your own flavor to it. Um, so she's going to finish that up. And once she has it all covered, we're going to come back and you can add another element of writing about your ancestors or stories that you want to share. I'm um, not very good at writing ancestor stories. It's okay. And that's okay. It all depends I, on what I you want to do. I draw the story. Yeah, you can draw the stories if you like. So she's just going to keep adding some strips until she feels content. So this is going to be my last strip. Period. Last strip. But don't 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 lose too much because you're going to um get you, you don't have enough space. Mm, for that makes your, sense. For your for for your design. back and see what Asada's working on and what she comes up with design wise what she draws on top so we'll be right back hey y'all what's up so this is what i've done so far it looks pretty good and she's gonna do a big heart mm -hmm. what are we gonna do that what why are we doing hearts because black lore yes so the theme of this month because it's black history is also black love so we get to celebrate that with our families and our friends and love is like represented in many different ways what's some ways that love is represented love is represented we love each other is love we, we share our money with black black stores mm -hmm. and black love is power it is. Yep. So community, even like mother, son, daughter, father, community. That those are relationships that require love. So this is what Asada's doing so far, and then we're going to come back and we're going to see what she does at the end, or what it looks like. So stay tuned. And this will happen if and you take your time and you have a good ascension like me. Oh, thank you. I appreciate Asada for helping me and being my assistant and showing um, showing everybody how you make this. So, you know, this is our design. Let me see. Let me show well, everybody. I can do without you. Yep. Likewise. So, this is what she came up with. So, you can do whatever you want to talk about. Celebrate Black love. Celebrate our ancestors, our families. Um, so, we decided to stick to the theme Black love, which is going to be so much Something. and i hope y'all have a wonderful day bye say bye bye afroplay <laughs> time donate to afroplay ashe hey harambe thank you for coming to afroplay hey harambe we hope that you enjoy the day hey harambe we hope to see you on a tuesday